All right, good morning, YouTube. So I got my redfish tie-dye shirt on. That means it's time for a catch and cook. Today we're going to do redfish and speckled trout sushi. Let's see how this turns out. First thing, we'll go over the ingredients with you. All right, we'll go over our ingredients. We got some sushi rice, <clears throat> some nori, which is your seaweed wrapper. We got some uh, paprika, soy sauce, Tony Sacherets, mayo and sriracha. The mayo and sriracha is for the sauce. And the way we're going to prep our fish for this is we got some redfish and speckled trout vacuum sealed. So we're going to use a technique called uh, sous vide, which basically is uh, you put the uh, sealed fish in a pot of uh, simmering water and you cook it that away. So we got some redfish, we got some uh, Tony Sasheries on it, a few pats of butter, and we got speckled trout, same thing. <clears throat> Tony Sasheries and a few pats of butter. When you cook it like this, you're able to drain all the fish juices off of it and get a drier cooked piece of fish. And it's easier for making sushi with that away. It's also great to do it like this for making fish tacos or just a quick way to store fish, take it out, thaw it out, and in a few minutes you got a prepared uh, fish fillet for serving. So the way I like to cook my rice is I use exactly double the amount of rice and water. So I had two cups of rice, I put in four cups of boiling water. Once I bring it to a boil, I'll set my timer for five minutes. <clears throat> I'll boil it for five minutes with the lid on, then I'll turn the heat down and simmer it for ten minutes. It'll absorb up all the water. When I'm cooking regular rice, I'll put some butter in it to make it fluffy, but since I'm making sushi, I want the rice to be sticky, so no oil or no butter or anything in it. So in this little pot, I got the water come to a slight simmer, and I'm going to go ahead and put my little packs of fish in there, and I'll let them cook for about 10 minutes. I'll keep an eye on them until they're right to the right consistency that I want. And try not to boil your rice over. Okay, at five minutes, we'll take and we'll stir our rice a little bit. You can see it's been boiling, and we're going to turn it down to simmer very very low for 10 minutes and then you can see in the first five minutes the fish is turning an opaque white getting cooked we'll let it go longer and it'll be nice firm fillets for cutting to roll into the sushi all right we boiled our rice for five minutes then we simmered it for 10. We'll turn the heat off. As you can see, the rice is uh, nice and fluffy, individual grain. So what I'll do is I'm gonna put the lid back on and let it set for five minutes just to soak up any more moisture that might be in there. And then once it sets for five minutes, I'll let it cool to where I can use it. So at the same time, our fish is ready. So you can see it's nice and opaque white, nice and firm, just how we're going to want it. We'll go ahead and turn the heat off of that. So we have redfish and speckled trout, and we're going to drain all the liquid off of it. And then we'll let it also cool to where it's more manageable. There's our trout. See how nice and dense the fillets cook? Here's our redfish. So we'll also let them cool to room temperature. Speckled trout and redfish. Smells delicious. Great to eat just like this or to make fish tacos or serve with a vegetable. But today we're going to do uh, sushi. So, okay, while we're waiting on our other ingredients to cool down to get the room temperature, <clears throat> we're going to prep our nori, our seaweed wrap, to be able to use. So in order to make it more pliable, I'll take and lay it in between some layers of damp paper towels. And of course, everything sticks together. 
I'll put one more damp one on top. Okay, so we put a towel down on a cutting board, a sheet of clear wrap, and then a sheet of the nori on top of it. It's slightly dampened, and then we'll take some of our sticky rice. It's best to wet your hands, because when we say sticky rice, we mean sticky rice. And we'll put the sticky rice on top of the nori. Kind of spread it out. Try to make it as evenly as possible. And when I say sticky, I mean sticky. A lot of people, you know, think of sushi as raw seafood, but since this is a warm, a warm water golf fish, I like to cook it first. If I had some fresh salmon or tuna or something, it'd be done in a raw state. All right, so we'll start off with some, some red fish. So I got it kind of cut in long, long big wedges. You see how it holds together nice using that cooking technique. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the plastic wrap and start to roll it. Get it to tuck under. And the nori is real delicate so you want to make sure you don't tear it. Roll it, roll it, roll it. These are going to be some pretty big rolls. And then we can take the towel over the top to tighten it up. Set it on a plate and let it cool. So that's red fish. Let's do one with some specks now. I'll turn my saran wrap over and use the other side. So like I said, I had the nori set in here, getting soft. In between some paper towels. Not really soft, just pliable. We'll do the same thing. Nice coating on it of sticky rice. When I mean sticky. Probably getting y'all dizzy with the camera moving back and forth, but my apologies. And for this one, we're going to take some speckled trout. Same thing, these nice, beautiful filleted pieces. Cook sous vide, which is just a water bath. Let them start to cool enough to where you can use them. Looks like I'm going to have lots of fish today. And we'll do the same thing. Get it starting to roll with the with the saran wrap. Make sure that it tucks under. Bring the towel over the top. Take it all up. Speckled trout, 
one redfish roll. And we're going to season and dock these up in a minute. And since I got both sides real sticky, I'll start off with a new piece of saran wrap. Alright, I'm going to make a little sauce to put on the top. Take about two tablespoons of mayonnaise. Tiny, tiny bit of soy sauce. A little squirt of sriracha. A light dusting of Tony's. And a little bit of salt. What we'll do is we'll put this in a Ziploc, snip just the corner off, and squeeze it out onto the top of our rolls. Okay, now it's time to plate it. So this is the hard part of slicing it. You need a really sharp knife and a wet towel. So what I'll do is I'll just go down the center, then I'll wipe my blade with the wet towel in between every cut. Uh, filet knife works best. These uneven ends will be for the chef. Turn the end off there. All right, we'll put her on the plate, just like we sliced it. All right. Since this is redfish, we want to be able to identify it, so we'll put a light dusting of paprika on it, just so we know it's the redfish. More decorative than anything. We'll take our little Sriracha mayo that we made. Squirt it back and forth on it. And a little light sprinkling of green onions. So that's our redfish. All right, we'll do the exact same thing with our speckled trout. Like I said, keep your knife sharp and wet. And then the longer you chill the rolls, the better they cut. You know, just like anything else, when you're cooking, you get impatient. And you, you want to taste it or try it or whatever. There you have it. There's your finished product. We got redfish and speckled trout sushi. So put a few pieces on a tray with some soy sauce and some of the dipping sauce. Next thing you do is you get your pair of chopsticks. You take them out the package. And you throw them away because you'll starve to death trying to eat them with those. Dip a little soy sauce, a little bit of the sriracha mayo. Delicious. Some of the best sushi you'll ever eat. So that's a little different twist on cooking redfish and speckled trout. Um, don't get in a rut. Don't get hung up on just frying cubillons and the same thing over and over. Try sushi, ceviche, smoking it, grilling it, whatever it takes. So thanks again to all my subscribers and everybody who comments. And if you'd like to see anything on the channel, just shoot me a message and I'll reply and we'll try to get it done. Till the next video, get out there and go fishing.